fairly sparkles. But here's burning power that's a more familiar spectacle, the white-hot cutting action of the oxyacetylene flame. Oxygen, the element that gives life, also has a modern use that makes the difference between life and death in an emergency. When the wiring goes wrong and there's a case of electrocution in the home, see how the new portable resuscitator works. With the equipment on the spot, a life is saved. But the life-giving gas plays another role. It looks as if it's boiling, and it is well below freezing. Oxygen keeps a flame alight. Nitrogen puts it out. You can see just how cold liquid oxygen is when they use it to freeze mercury. This is a demonstration carried out in the Crawley Laboratories of Britain's biggest oxygen producer. Strange things happen at 180 below. The rose petals are petrified, so they literally shatter at a touch. The deep frozen mercury, usually so elusive, becomes rock hard. At very low temperatures, gas can make its own energy. Here's a model steam engine driven by liquid oxygen, expanding as it warms up. It's a scientist's toy, but it shows dramatically the driving power of thin air. And another toy that's a favorite, it's probably a miniature cannon with liquid oxygen as its power pack. There's no end to the odd things that happen when the thermometer starts to dive. You can boil an egg this way, but you won't get a lightly done breakfast treat. And there's also a way to fritter bananas in a vat of boiling oxygen. The strange thing is that the banana looks as if it's cooking, but when it comes out, it's like granite in seconds. there's only one way to go to work on an egg that's had three and a half minutes in a saucepan of bubbling liquid oxygen. There's more to oxygen than high jinks in the lab. Oxygen for welding, oxygen for life-saving. It has to be transported, and to carry it about, they cool it down to liquid form. Because the gas contracts at low temperatures, they can get more of it in the giant tankers, and the pipeline ices up as it's pumped aboard. At its liquefying point, oxygen so cold it burns, so it's handled with thick-gloved care. Our story began with a firework display of the white-hot oxyacetylene flame slicing through the strongest inch-thick steel. Here's an outdoor demonstration with high-pressure oxygen pumping up a flame that shows the burning power of really hot air. oxygen at high pressure onto a flame and it's hot enough to melt concrete like butter. There's no secret ingredient, it's in the air we breathe. <laughs> 